Hello. So we're going to talk about specific key and key. Okay. So he specific key. And perhaps heat conduction. So it's going to be a little bit long. Okay. So heat and specific key, right? So key in unit, I mean in symbol is Q. And a unit is joule. So like energy. Okay. So it's one kind of energy. So this is equal to the mass times the C, which is specific E, and times delta T. So what it says, if I know the mass, I know the temperature increment, and I know the specific heat, then I can calculate how much heat is required to increase that amount of temperature increase for that mass, all right? So let's just say if I have some water here, and this water, the M, is equal to one kilogram, and C for the water, specific heat for water, it's equal to 4186 joule per kilogram and then per degree C, okay? So then let's say it's temperature, the T1, right? So T is equal to, say, 10 degrees C. And T prime later, right? So sometime later, or we're using some method to make it hotter. So this is equal to 20 degrees C. So we know that delta T, it's equal to 10 degrees C. So then we can calculate how much is required to heat up this water here of a one kilogram mass. So times 4186 N times 10, right? So this is degree, degree C. But in this case, degree C and degree K is actually the same here, right? Because it's the delta. It's the delta we're referring to, right? Okay? So you can use, or well, it's not equal, but it's just that you can use if you're using degree C and degree K, this 4186 will be the same. So that's the, it's going to be 41860 joule. And so that's the amount of heat that will be required to heat up this water here. All right, so now I'm going to talk about heat conduction. So I'm going to clear that. So heat conduction, heat conduction. So that's one method for heat transfer, right? And so it's the heat transfer, right? So it's the transfer of heat, heat transfer through collision between neighboring particles, right? Neighboring particles right? or molecules. Okay, so collision, all right? Okay, so if you have like a material, right? Like a metal, right? And this is mainly through the free electron, okay? The mechanism is through free electrons movement. So free electron is responsible for this heat conduction. So let's say this side here is 10 degrees C and this is 20 degrees C. And this is a metal, right? So let's say that's an aluminum, for example. And let's say this area here is A, and this distance here is L, okay? And let's say the L is equal to, L is equal to one meter, and A is equal to one meter square. So we can calculate how much heat will go through this, you know, this chunk of material this way, in this direction. So it will be going through this way, right? The Q will be going through this way because it goes from high temperature to low temperature, all right? So normally heat conduction, we're talking about the Q divided by delta T, okay? And this delta T here is, is time. So the time duration, and that's equal to, we call that H, okay? So it's the rate of heat conduction. So that's equal to um, K, and K is the thermal conductivity, okay? Thermal conductivity, and that depends on material. Thermal conductivity. So you can check this in the books. So thermal conductivity is, for aluminum, is 200, okay? 
So aluminum, K for aluminum, is equal to 200. And the unit is joule, joule per second per meter, and then per degree C, per degree C, okay? All right, so that's thermal conductivity. In this case, it's called thermal conductivity. So times A, okay? So the larger this A here, this A, right, this cross-section, the more, right, the more contacting area. So it will have more collision. So the A is in the numerator. And the L, so the longer you want to go through this L, right, it will take, you know, take more time to go through. So then this one here is the L is in a denominator and then times the delta T, okay? So then this is equal to 200, in this case, 200, and then times A, A is one meter square, meter square, and this is one meter, and then the delta T is equal to 10, right? So 10 degrees C. And this is joule and second, and then meter degree C, okay? So changing color here. All right, so this, this one cancel out, Okay, so there's one, only one meter left. And there's a meter there, so this is meter cancel out. And a degree C cancel out, right? So you can see it's joule per second now, right? So that's gonna be equal to, in this case, this metal, if you have 10 degrees C, 20 degrees C there, uh, it will have a rate of, of heat, okay? The rate of heat transfer is going to be two times 10 to the three joule per second or 2,000 watts, right? Okay, so that's the heat conduction and uh, we're gonna stop here, all right? Okay, bye-bye now. Yeah, so we...